Sony's pricey handset returns. Although the Xperia 1 Mark IV is treading familiar territory in 2022, officially announced during a reveal event on 11 May, Sony says that the Xperia 1 Mark IV will appear in the US and UK later this year. The previous Xperia 1 Mark III arrived in August 2021, almost six months after its initial launch event. But thankfully we only have to wait until 16 June to get our hands on the Xperia 1 Mark IV. As for looks, we're getting a similar appearance to last year's phone, with its clean-cut edges and neatly arranged camera array on the rear. The Xperia 1 Mark IV is one of the few phones with a dedicated camera shutter button on one of its long edges, and it also benefits from IP65 or 68 waterproofing. Layers of Gorilla Glass Victus have been applied on both the front and back of the phone, and it comes in a choice of three colors, black, ice white, and purple. Moving on, Sony feels that the 6.5-inch 4K AMOLED display of the previous generation was close to perfection, so this year there were only a few upgrades. They are important though, for example the screen is 50% brighter. Brightness was a bit of an issue for the Mark III. The 120Hz refresh rate can be utilized if the game supports it. And this year there is a beefier GPU running the show, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1's Adreno 730. As for memory, Sony is only offering a version with 12 gigs of RAM, anything less doesn't cut it. Storage capacity is 256 gigs with the 512 gigs tier also available in some markets. Better yet, you can expand it via the micro SD slot, which is a real rarity in the premium segment. The phone runs a close to stock Android 12. Last year's model put in a decent battery performance, but this year Sony bumped up the capacity by 500 mAh for a total of 5000 mAh. Anyway, the phone supports 30 watt fast charging, which can get it to 50% in half an hour. Note that this year there will be no bundled charger, Sony is presenting this change as part of its green initiative. It is allowed for a smaller retail box and Sony also made sure it does not contain any plastics. In total, CO2 emissions have been reduced by 36%. Next up, audio. The Xperia 1 Mark IV has a 3.5mm headphone jack, another uncommon sight among flagships. Also, the drivers for the front-facing stereo speakers have been improved. They offer a modest 10% increase in max volume, but a much better sound overall as they deliver 20-50% to more bass. For wireless audio, this is among the first phones to support the new Bluetooth LE audio tech, as well as the usual LDAC. 360 Reality Audio is now supported in more apps. You can now live stream directly from the pre-installed Game Enhancer app, with the ability to add custom chat overlays and UI layouts to your streams. Game and microphone audio can also be sent directly to your PC via dual-channel output, and the Xperia 1 Mark IV has an in-built audio mixer too. Likewise, the new Music Pro app, according to Sony, allows you to record like you're using a condenser microphone in a studio environment, although this was something that was difficult to demonstrate during our video briefing. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV telephone photo camera offers continuous optical zoom thanks to a revolutionary new design, and it zooms in more at the far end. The new range is 85mm to 125mm, making for 3.5 to 5x optical magnification. The phone sticks to the 12 megapixel resolution for all three cameras on its back. The main camera has a 11.7 inch sensor, and an OIS enabled 24mm lens. The ultra-wide camera gets a 1.25 inch sensor with a 16mm lens with autofocus. For completeness' sake, the telephoto module houses a 1 3.5 inch sensor, and also has OIS and AF. By the way, the two-stage shutter button is still available on the side, following this period tradition. All three cameras share the same feature set, including 4K video capture at 120 FPS. They all offer optical steady shot with flawless eye IAF, plus real-time object tracking and autofocus. All cameras utilize image stacking to expand the dynamic range, and can do 20 FPS bursts with AF, AE and HDR enabled. An RGB IR sensor on the back feeds info to AI algorithms that control the white balance of the camera, and there is a 3D TOF sensor as well. This year it also upgraded the selfie camera to 12 megapixel up from 8 megapixel, thanks to a new one 2.9 inch XMOR RS sensor. This allows it to record 4K video as well, with HDR to boot, though it is limited to 30 FPS. Disappointingly, it still lacks autofocus. All three of these rear sensors benefit from a new 120fps high-speed image readout sensor, with swift real-time eye autofocus and tracking for both humans and animals, as well as 4K 120fps slow-motion video and a wider dynamic range. Brace yourselves, here comes the pricing. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV will cost €1,400 in Europe. That's €100 Euros more than the Mark III, but it's not as pricey as the Pro Mark I. If you have the money, pre-orders will go live in the next 24 hours, and deliveries will start in June. The Mark IV will be available in the US in the same time frame, and in that market it will come with wave connectivity. I hope this first hands-on video about the new Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV was useful for you. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you soon.